What's up guys, welcome back to the grand finale of the Road to Million Wealth episode 32. So I will start off and say that this is most likely the finale, but if something massive happens, a mechanoid raid that wipes everyone out, we lose a load of money somehow. Or there might be another one, uh, is what I'm trying to say, is if something really bad goes wrong. Theoretically, there won't. So we've got a few things that I want to get finished. A few things that will declare the end of the episode. Those being the Rim Factory. I want to finish the factory off completely, so I want to buy, build all the factory stuff, get everything sorted. I want the factory done. I want to get the recreation room here. I want all the flooring done. And I would quite like to build one Craft the Five bot to say that I've completed the robotics stuff. That is my basics for finishing. Everything else is done. The million wealth is basically there. I Last episode we finished off 960,000. So to get the crafter bot, we need to get somebody to level 20 in crafting. Um, I Last episode I was talking a lot about, oh, it's going to be Mooster, it's going to be a Yuda. Well, actually it's Kentaka. <laughs> Kentaka is already uh, over a third of the way there. Compared to a Yuda who's only just reached level 19 and Mooster who is only just reached level 19 as well. A Yuda could potentially catch up and take over Kentaka because she is um, industrious and she is too smart as well. So she learns just ridiculously quickly. Uh, but I'm not too sure. Transfer pods arrived. EB is obviously still out trading as well, uh, picking up more of the gold. Uh, more components, advanced components. Thank you very much. But we are totally out of chem fuel at the moment. And we need chem fuel to do some of the rim factory stuff, which is what we're going to be doing. At the end, we sort of look through all the different outputs and things and what we need to connect to everything. And I sort of started with, well, as we can see, Omnibot is doing the factory floor here. We're going to have a, a three, two more automatic drills. We're going to have one for limestone, one for marble, and one for sandstone. And they're just, they're going to feed into each different one, the Plasteel Forge, the Advanced Assembler. Oh, we've got a Versatile Assembler here as well. Let's build one of those and see what that does. So we should have all of these things feeding into one another. I'd buy the, get the Masonry Saw, but that just makes stone blocks. And we are already making a shitload of stone blocks because we have a craftable. So we're going to do all the Plasteel Forge or whatever, connect it all together and make it all really efficient, theoretically. Um, sandstone blocks, chem fuel, still needs chem fuel. So we need to get some chem fuel refinement and move it out of here, away from this area, so we can build the chem fuel refinery up here instead. Uh, let's maybe just start that straight away because we just we don't need it anymore. Like power-wise, we've got ten thousand spare watts, and most of these are turned off. Like we don't need power anymore. We've gone past that stage. Okay. So let's do the sandstone one first. Let's get advanced assemblers first. That's probably the most important. So we need steel, component, gold, and plasteel. So let's reinstall this like in the middle. So we want components on one side. Then we want components one side, steel on one side. So what we can do is have that go there. We can reinstall this there like that, and then reinstall that, there. Once this is built, I think we can, actually let's cancel that just for the time being. The plasteel, hold on a minute, the grid, it's going down, what's the matter? What's going on? Where's the, where's my power gone? Where's all the power? What's happened? Something's happened with the power, we were on like 10,000. I've got no fucking clue. Well, <laughs> We, we were prepared for this. We were prepared for this. Let's build some more geothermal. Yeah, negative 5,000. What the fuck? Do I need to build another nuclear reactor? Don't think I won't. I'll do it. <laughs> so then the steel fields feeds into the component assembler, which feeds in to the advanced assembler. So the advanced assembler needs another factory hopper here. So that's got it giving, it's now being provided components. Next, we need the steel. So the steel one's easy peasy. Uh, we just build another steel extractor. Uh, build copy. And the steel extractor can go there, along with another factory hopper. And then, that's perfect. That could do the exact same as these ones, I think. 
we can then need the plasteel one. So the plasteel, plasteel forge, needs sandstone blocks, chem fuel, and steel. So this needs to go there. The plasteel forge then needs chem fuel and steel. So we need another steel extractor to go here with another hopper. And then these need hoppers as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then it needs sandstone. Was it what? Did it want blocks or chunks? Blocks. Okay, so this then wants. So we do need the sawmill thing. To be fair, we're not really. You've got shitloads of sandstone blocks. Like, we could just sort of just chuck them up here, couldn't we? Um, so let's build another hopper there. And then that'll have sandstone blocks. And then we need chem fuel. So in order to create chem fuel, we can just build a refinery, I think. Uh, just build a biofuel refinery just up here anywhere. And the biofuel refinery will get set up so it produces chem fuel from um, insect meat. Was, actually, is there anything in this to make mechanoid munitions? Chem fuel clarifier, right. So we need, actually need the chem fuel clarifier then. That's the last one we're missing. Jesus. Production. <laughs> if we could just get one advanced component, all right, I'd say that's a win. That's a win. Connors needs rescue. Angerson, what are you, what are you doing? Angerson's just got absolutely fucking obliterated <laughs> on smoke leaf in the freezer. Brilliant. So we've got steel being fed into the advanced assembler and components. Then this is the plasteel forge. The plasteel forge has got steel being fed into it. Then we need sandstone blocks. So what we can also do is build a copy. And that one will have sandstone blocks attached to it. Whereas, so the last one we need to get is plot gold. So in order to get gold, we need to finish this. So what we'll then do is make another hopper uh, copy. And then we'll just make that set to gold as to whatever the other preference is. Uh, make it a higher preference. And then whenever we need gold for whatever, we'll just move it around. All right. I just want to see it work. <laughs> so much effort. The most unbelievable amount of effort I'm putting into this. My brain is just like going a million miles an hour, just working it all out. Uninstall that and deconstruct that. Let's do this properly. Let's get factory. Let's get a masonry saw and the chem fuel clarifier there, like that. We're out of power. A squirrel has self tamed. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, we're out of power. What's the matter with the nuclear generator? The grid excess. We are in excess. Maybe we build another nuclear power station. Mine out all of this here. Yeah, classic. We just have to buy it, build another nuclear power station to maintain our other nuclear power stations. Oh, look, the grid excess is now 6,000. I've got, I'm really confused about what's going on with the grid, to be honest. Really confused. The masonry saw. Choose output. Output sandstone blocks from sandstone chunk. Yes. And then we want this as the storage. We want this to be stone chunk and this needs to be critical importance so that'll output chunks into there and then that will create that so that's the that's the chunks done we just need the chem fuel bit so then we can start making and then we do gold as well power is not looking the best <laughs> for some reason that's an issue we're having is power which i never remember it being an issue you know because I don't want to go out and just use this to go get more um, chem fuel and stuff. I don't know. Do I? I mean, I probably should. I should just go out and trade to go find some. And hopefully we can get enough chem fuel to, f to fund our things. Because that's what we're missing is chem fuel. As soon as we get chem fuel, we get the chem fuel clarifier, everything will work. Advanced components is a priority, but chem fuel I'll take just to help top everything up. Because you can't make the make more advanced components without the chem fuel and gold. But we can't store the gold 
up here until we finish here. It's a sticky situation, really. Oh, perfect. Build a bot 40? Appreciate you. So that's another geothermal generator, which should actually top everything up quite nicely. Yeah, 4,000. Power's looking good again. Power's going to look really good once we've got another geothermal generator and another nuclear reactor on the go. Power looked real nice. And Eevee's arrived, Baron Griff. 2,600 chem fuel. Only a small amount. And another hauler station, obviously. Uh, so let's grab Tika. Let's get you to prioritise working on that. Power! Where, where is the power? We've got loads of power. We've got a literal shitload of power. What's going on? Power. Is something not connected right? No, all of that's connected. Something is huffing a shitload of our power at night. And I don't know where. Like, our powers just drop. But then we also then have an excess, so I'm really confused. Maybe we just need a, maybe we just need a shitload of power. Not just like a little bit more power, a shitload more power. That's Maybe that's what we're missing. I mean, it is dipping and going down, up and down quite a lot. I think it's where the robots are recharging, maybe. Disease, malaria. Ah, oh, sick. I love it when just all my colonists get malaria. Thankfully, they've got that mechanite optimization clothing on, so it's like, makes it a lot slower for them to, like, die. Nearly there, nearly. Oh, hello. Chemfuel clarifier, right. So how do we make chemfuel? Chemfuel from corpses. Chem fuel from wood, chem fuel from mesh, from wood. Right, we'll just do it out of wood. We have the most unbelievable amount of wood. So now we can get chem fuel. We need to build the factory hopper here still, unfortunately. So the factory hopper, the chem fuel clarifier will now take wood to then make chem fuel, to go into the plasteel force to make plasteel. Perfect, so now we just need the gold. Gold is the last bit that we need. We shouldn't take too long, I'd hope, with the most... No! <laughs> I bet Ben proposed that you rejected him! We don't, have any, we don't even have a spare bedroom. Oh, yeah, we do. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, Rogabega. Are you just your fucking... Oh, intellectual's going down by the second. Maybe it'll be Kintaka that gets there now. Eight, twenty, almost twenty thousand. Yeah, I think we are gonna. I'm gonna set this the canary to set the fuel target to a hundred, two thousand. I'm gonna fill it, and we're gonna load it full of just everything, and we're gonna go around the planet and find all the gold and all the advanced components and buy them, so we can finish this today. Because I don't want to be having to do another episode just because I said that I was going to finish stuff. Like, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna get it done. Let's fucking get this finished, alright? Minor goods trader. That's also very convenient, especially if they have gold. They have gold. <laughs> Except. Okay, so we don't need to go out and get gold anymore because we know we, we bought it all. We finished the gold. Uh, that's important up there, so we should actually put gold up there. So we've done it. Okay, gold's done, all right? <laughs> Just like that. But we just still need advanced components. So we are going to go out and look for advanced components and probably more gold as it is anyway. Uh, maybe, yeah, more gold, more plasteel. The resources we need to build the advanced, the, the, this. So we need silver and gold and robotic components and advanced components. This is now making plasteel. It's done it. This has got everything in it except gold. And then this should theoretically have gold in this at some point. We have finished! Done it. The recreation room is finished. That is step one of our completion goals done. Step one is complete. It's done. Alright, we never have to lay another gold tile in this recreation room again. Okay, so now this... He's got plasteel coming out. It's done. Oh, shit, it's doing it. Advanced assembler's working. Nearly done. We are so close to completing our million goals and the... Not million goals. We're so close to completing the million wealth and the goals we've set out this episode. 
We are so close. We are basically there. We need to get advanced components, so we're going to have to travel actually quite a long distance. We're going to go across the sea to get advanced components. I want to come back with at least 30. But I will settle for 10. We need crafting skill trainers. So 0.4 hours, 0.3 hours, 8 seconds, 4, 3, Yes! It's done! It's done! It works! Holobot. Holobot. No, fuck off. We've done it. The factory works. We have completed. Well, we haven't. We've done, like, the one bit I wanted to do. We've done it. Alright? First time ever using Room Factory, and I've made an advanced components out of it. Alright? It might not be the most efficient, but it works, and that is it. So that is goal number two for our final episode complete. Next is the fucking robotic matrix. For 20 crafting. So we just need Kentaka. It's going to be Kentaka to get to, to 20 crafting. Um, Ayuda is... I think she's probably going to drop down to level 18. Maybe. And Moostrix is also, like, ill. So it's gonna it's going to be Kintaka. Oh shit, we've got another We've got oh we finished it! We finished the uh, next uh, nuclear power station. Perfect the skill trainer in crafting. I don't it does exist. I think they're quite rare. I think I do think they are rare. But yeah, we are bashing out advanced components up here. Yeah. Power's sorted. We're at twenty-eight thousand again. None again. Come on, guys. C come, guys, come on. They should at least know that I'm after a crafty skill trainer. Kentaka, how are you looking? I think the skill trainer is giving like 4,000 as well. Like, it's going to be so important to get to that fucking 30k. I'm desperate. Like, this is 10, it's 10k crafting. I don't want to wait another hour just to get 10k crafting. Surely someone has got what I'm looking for. Surely. Your transport force have arrived. Okay. Like, oh, it's been so long. They got two. Oh, fuck yes! Right, we're gonna go head straight back. I don't know if this is gonna be enough at all. I don't even. I've got no idea. Uh, let's sell everything. If I can afford that other, yeah, no, I'm not gonna afford it. That's. Oh, actually, we might be able to. We might actually be able to afford that other skill trainer. <laughs> if he keep... no, that other skill trainer, the other crafter. No, we can't afford it. Uh, actually, if we sell that, we can't afford it. Oh, so that's literally all our... That's potentially all our goals completed. That's perfect. Actually perfect. We sent EB home. Successful. <laughs> it's taken so, so long to get those skill trainers. Now, I hopefully, Kintaka should be more or less there after that. He's at 18,500 now, nearly 20k. Um, we should be there, like, more or less, completely. Because, yeah, I'm kind of, like, I don't, I've lost faith in Ayuda. Ayuda still might get there first, but she's been in, she was at, like, 16,000, 15,000. And now she's been, had this malaria, and she's only 54% um, tended. Like, she'll probably drop down to, like, one or 2,000 before she gets back up. She's a massive shame, a massive shame. The game. No! No! Right, I've reloaded into the game from the crash. And we'd obviously just found two crafting skill trains and I'm not even gonna lie, it's taken me an hour to find a trader with crafting skill trainers. If I, if it comes up and says, oh yeah, come trade with uh, whoever, whoever, and they don't have those crafting skill trainers, I will, I'm going to cheat, and I will, 
I will only sp I will spawn myself in the two skill trains that I bought, uh, but not the advanced components. All right, that's what I'll do. I've got one. Okay, I get. Uh, uh, all right, okay, I get. <laughs> okay, all right, one. I mean, okay, that'll that'll do. I think it won't though. No, it won't though. Okay, I'll get rid of the auxiliary AI, and I'll get rid of ten components, and I will cra spawn myself in, and I'll lose the money as well. Make it fair, and I will spawn myself in the other crafting skill trend that we lost. Just, just to get this moving a little bit quicker, because it's been, it's been, it's, I've been waiting a long time. Right, so there is the one crafting kill skill trainer that I spawned in. If you see, it's only one. There's no other bits of it, and this will be for Kintaka. So Kintaka can have uh, one, and then have the other one when he gets back. So he's currently at eighteen thousand four hundred. What is he going to go up to? We need him to get to at least twenty four thousand here for me to value my time. He reached level 20 in one. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought it only did a small amount of it. Well, it looks like he's going to be making our anti-logic thing right now. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Out of a... Okay. <laughs> well, out of a bad thing, a good thing has happened. Okay, we're going to get our crafting anti-logic thing. And we're going to be good. Making exoskeleton frame. No, no, no. No, 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 you, you're, 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 you're making that. How much do we need for that? Oh, we haven't got the advanced components. We have to wait for Eevee to come, we have to wait for Pagey to come back anyway. All right, okay, we've got to wait for Pagey to come back, so at least it's slightly more balanced then, because I'd get it then anyway. All right, because Pagey's got all the advanced components that we we currently need. Your transports have arrived. Welcome back, Eevee, the man that we've all been waiting for. So, Eevee is bringing back the seven advanced components. Kintaka engineering robotics so kintaka is now going to be completing our final goal of the road to a million wealth he's doing it unfinished robotic matrix anti-logic kintaka is doing it he's sitting on some alpaca wool that's currently almost nearly being made into an armchair And he's done it. There it is. There's the advanced ad anti-logic. So it's prioritized fabricating here. Making Crafter 5 base station. He's doing it. And just like that, we have one. We have finished. We've done. We're complete. We've done it. Crafter 5 base station. The last task has been complete. Kintaka just finished not assigned to constructing. Are you fucking joking? There it is in all its glory. Craft a five base station activate. It's just gonna do its thing. We've completed the series. We're done. We're done. That's it. I'm done. So, I mean, this is it. The end of the series. We've finished the road to the million wealth. Uh, we check our wealth. You know what? <laughs> We're done. You know what? We are done. Right? We would have been on a million wealth, but we sold so much shit that we didn't get there. We've completed all the tasks I wanted to do. We were on 960,000. We've been traveling everywhere. We're done. We are done. The series has been incredible. It's been one of my... F it's been... the. F we. I know we've officially didn't actually make it, but unofficially we have made it because the series has been crazy. We've made so much progress. I've learned so much about the game. It's been amazing. Um, and next, and the next series of Rimworld is going to be even better. I've got a lot of plans for that, and I, I'm ready to wrap this up because we finished. We finished the Rim Factory. I've learned. I've learned it. It's good. I love it. We got all the animals. We we've gone through guinea pig farms, boomerlet farms, Stegosaurus farms, gorilla farms. We had. A, did you guys? I completely forgot. I was watching back some footage. I had an elephant at one point. All right. The base went from being this building. And a small section in here where we had the ancient danger. And these three, six original bedrooms. This wall here has been since the very beginning. 
That wall has not been changed at all. These walls in here have never been changed. These batteries are from the very beginning, you know? There's been so much progress. It's been, like, ridiculous. I've learned things about the game that I never thought I'd learn. I never thought I'd be able to craft level 5 base stations and get to level 20 crafting. Uh, this series, I've spent well over probably 100 hours recording, editing, and everything. And, you know, if there's anyone here at the end of watching, I'm massively appreciative of any support. So on that note, yes, we maybe did not get to the million wealth. We got to 960,000 at our pinnacle. But I'm going to put the extra 40,000 val 40, value in what we gained in terms of knowledge, all right? The 40,000 silver that we gained, that we've lost, with it, something that's missing, we gained in knowledge, all right? This is what a million wealth looks like. This is what it is. I probably won't return to this colony ever again uh, or anything because I've got so many mods that I need to, I'm need. i going to install for the next series. And I'm going to download all the DLCs and get it all sorted. It's going to be insane. So this is the last time we'll see this. So, on that note, if you have enjoyed this episode and the series, please like, subscribe, and tell your mum about it. And I'll see you for the next one. Thank you. Oh, also, I'll be streaming, back streaming on uh, Twitch. Now that this series has ended, I've got some free time for like a week or so. I like go back, I'm like i going back to streaming on Twitch. I'll be doing some Minecraft, which is a bit weird. So catch me there. Twitch.tv slash And I'll see you there. Thank you. What's up, guys? Joe from the future here. So I realized I ended the series without actually reaching a million. And I felt a bit bad about that. So what I've done is after I finished recording this, I took a break and I came back and I got to the million off camera. And I basically did that by constructing a shitload of everything. Um, all of our colonists have now got a mixture of recon, marine armor, and flak armor. Uh, Crafterbot is was ridiculously quick at making everything. I made a shitload of exoskeleton frames, a shitload of dusters um, that are worth an unbelievable amount because of all the thread and hyperweave we've got. Um, I also took a raid. Um, which gave me loads of wealth that way and we built Loads of royal end tables. We made everything we could of royal and that was about it um, I'll prove it as well here. You probably can't quite see because of the yellow over the white it says 1.2 million on day 307 six uh, If we go to the last 30 days a lot clearer 1 million 140,015 and if you go up to now it's 1 million 40,000 339 so we have made it once again thank you for watching the series um the next series animals and that's all you're gonna get i'll see you next time thank you